For this question, we've been asked to complete complete the table. So I'm going to draw the table here. We have we have the particle name. And then we have the symbol. And then we have the mass number. And then we have the atomic number. Sorry, we have the atomic number or charge. So the first one is the first one is alpha particle and the symbol is helium is h8 no uh, and symbol can be h e or alpha and then you have the top number being four and then the down number being two so the top number is always the mass number which is the number of protons and neutrons together in the element and then the bottom number is the proton number or the atom atomic number which is equal to the number of protons in the element so with this part of the mass number will be four an atomic number of each. And then the next one will be a beta or an electron. And then the symbol is E with the top number being zero and the bottom being negative one. So as we did earlier, the mass number will be zero and the atomic number will be negative one. So with gamma rays, the symbol is that, and then the top and down numbers are zero. So the mass number then becomes zero, and then the atomic charge becomes zero. With positron, you know, positron is the reverse of a new uh, an electron, which is the beta particle. So it's just the same E with a mass number of zero, and then the charge here changes to one, plus one instead of minus one. So the mass number is still zero, but the charge or the atomic number now is plus one. And then for neutron, So we've been given N has a mass number of one and the atomic of zero. So here becomes one and then here becomes zero. And then the last one becomes the proton and then for a proton it is represented by p with the top and the down numbers being one and one so the mass number then is one and then the atomic number is also 